hello aquarius welcome back we're going to check in with your weekly messages let's see what is going on <clears throat> lost my voice all right for those who are interested there will be an extended reading and it will all be about what your person wants and needs from you around this time so make sure to check that out at the illuminator.com the link is in the description box below all right what are the messages for <clears throat> Aquarius, please? I'm going to do a Celtic Cross for you this week. Let's see where the energies are aligning. All right. Ooh, the Five of Swords and the Empress Reverse. Some of you are in a huge conflict with your mom. Okay. You know, you may feel like your mother is kind of like sabotaging your energy. Or if that's not you, this... Or if that's not your mother, that's you feeling attacked of your femininity, all right? Or you may be self-sabotaging yourself, not feeling great about your body, not feeling great about um, what you have to offer. But you do have everything inside of you. However, you need to protect yourself. You need to protect your energy. So whether that this is your own inner voice that is kind of like trying to bring you down or um, you've been so sensitive that you've been attracting people's criticism and you know you're kind of like putting yourself down whatever it is you may need to really shake that energy off and start to be more in your power here yeah uh, so yeah yeah the six of swords reverse is like a conflict that you can't seem to get away from and if this is about your mother obviously this might be because you can't get away from your mother right uh, so there's definitely some unsettled energies here that you really need to work on and it's bringing you and your energy quite down and you need to start seeing the light within yourself okay that's one thing you know you have everything inside of you and you are a beautiful person inside and out but you are allowing people's energy to get to you. And this may affect your confidence level and your manifestation level, okay? All right, let's see. In the heart of the reading, we've got the Knight of Swords for you, Aquarius. Crossing that is the Queen of Pentacles. Where it's coming from is the Chariots. In the recent past, we've got the Hierophant. In the near, or in your crowning energies, the Four of Wands. In the near future, we have the a, uh, Magician. The King of Swords in how you view yourself. Outside energies is the Nine of Cups. Hopes and Fears is the Death card. And the outcome is the Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck. Right. I'm searching for like a puzzle for the connection between this energy and the rest of your spread because the rest of your spread looks good <laughs> all right it looks good I see like quick things moving like really quickly for you in the right way Absolutely. Um, there's absolutely nothing that is stopping you or blocking you here. Except for the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could be a person, right? That's being a little bit of a challenge. That could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Again, it could be um, have to do with your mother. It does not have to, but... You know, the Queen of Pentacles is the nurturing one. So you may feel like you're, um, the person that is closest to you is not very nurturing. Now, even if it's not your mother, it could be someone that you grew up with or whomever it is, right? Like you may have felt like this person is not favoring you right now. And um, I feel like you're getting a little bit frustrated because of that. But I do see you making quick moves and quick jumps out of the situation and also with the queen of pentacles you may feel like this chaos or this drama could have been taking a lot of your 
energy as well as your money or your focus at work so financially you may have felt like it's really hindering your process so i see you really making like a big quantum leap here with this knight of swords and i see that you're probably wanting to travel or get away here or move to a different state different place the chariot is definitely like an actual tangible move right so it might be that you trying to move out or wanting to move to another place could have had some issues with the elders right like or could have had some type of issue with someone that was trying to keep you there or sabotage you but i do see you really taking charge here right the chariot is like you being in control so the drama comes from you trying to be in control of your own path and trying to take the right decisions here with the hierophant in the recent past it looks like you've been really dedicating yourself committing yourself to some type of goal you've been committing yourself to to your own values to your own integrity to your own morals and you've learned a lot within this spiritual i don't know why i'm saying spiritual time but definitely maybe it has been a very spiritual time for you maybe it has been a very lonely time for you as well but you've you feel like you've already passed the test here because the number five is very challenging energies and i feel like the hierophant is the one that has learned all the curves and now is able to teach other people right so i'm also feeling like this energy of when the um, student is ready the teacher appears so that might be something that comes up for you around this time as well yes the ship there you go the chariot the ship cutting ties and moving on receiving what you need and progressing and arriving so this is like the whole long journey and you have to cut ties with people that have been trying to sabotage you or sabotage your progress here could have been karmic relationships that were uh, one-sided all right narcissistic and i feel like this is um these are people that you're leaving behind and yes there are a lot of parents that could be narcissistic as well or or acting narcissistic right so i feel like you're really learned great lessons here and you're finally making progress here uh, aquarius and we have the four of wands there yeah it's it's, it's like needing to leave that behind it feels like the capricorn energy really all the way through so if you're dealing with a capricorn or perhaps it's because we just had the capricorn full moon so all these energies are very much connected to one another but it looks like you have this vision you have this goal and you want to move to another place or to another state whatever it is and it's going to bring some type of separation and sadness so you have this bitter bittersweet feeling about it however i do see you really um engaging all right whether that is like a real engagement or whether that is uh, you engaging more in social activities uh, having a um, beautiful house if you've been searching for a house there's definitely some type of um, opportunity coming in uh, there is definitely a lot of joy and fulfillment and you focusing on your relationship here so for some of you you do have already a relationship here that you feel very inspired from and is giving you a lot of fulfillment and with the magician i feel like you have both a lot of goals that you want to achieve and it is going to take place here i see that you're just a little bit hesitant in leaving situations behind because the death card is like you can never go back all right like once once this energy once you make that decision you can never go back right that's with the death card so you have to close one door in order to open the next one and that could be sometimes very frightening so yes that might be something that is quite frightening but you will also make a lot of people happy with this decision so maybe one or two people will be a little bit against it but overall energies around you will be quite happy and satisfied with you making this quick move and yes it might be very radical for some people that like the change could be very radical here with the knight of swords however with the king of swords it shows me that you've already think of or thought things through so you already know 
um, all the ins and outs, you've already done the research, you've already done the pros and cons, you've already done all the background information checkups. So you know what you're doing and you have to just trust on your own um, the term, um, discernment. Okay. So right, the six of pentacles also coming out, meaning that you will get what you deserve, all right? This is a karmic energy as well. So what you put out is what you will receive. So with the six of pentacles, there's definitely some people that will help you, some people that will be very grateful for what you do. They will find it very helpful what you are giving to the world or to them. Um, like I said, you could be even becoming a teacher or something and a lot of people will be benefiting in the right way from your knowledge. So whatever it is, it's going to bring you a lot of balance and dharma into your life, right? The fool, so take that leap of faith, right? The fool is absolutely a new journey that is around the corner for you and you need to tread carefully, obviously, it is a risk, but you know what they say, right? You can't win without taking a big risk in life. And last but not least, I'm going to leave it at this, Aquarius, because you have, you know what to do. And I feel like I'm talking to you directly through the, through the phone almost. Um, Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Trust your inner knowledge, that's the whole freaking reading i've been saying that so this is absolutely amazing and i feel like this is the ultimate confirmation for you and obviously if it wasn't your reading uh, you wouldn't know what this was talking about but yeah for those aquarians that have a clear vision and are being a little bit rebellious just trust your inner knowledge because you know what to do but act upon it without delay okay that's what i have for you Thank you so much, Aquarius, and the link for the extended is in the description box below. Take care.